I love to travel because every time I'm on the road, I feel absolutely alive. So since 2010, I have started this art gallery. I started this art gallery called Bang and Burn Contemporary, and it's a roaming gallery. I move, the gallery moves, um, nothing, is, nothing has a permanent address. And so occasionally people look at our business cards and say, oh, where are you located? Is there an address on here? And I say, no, we're a roaming gallery. I, I will get a space for a show when, um, when is appropriate. And, uh, and after the show comes up and down and we move on. I definitely think I am a new nomad. Um, I'm nomadic in my travels. I'm, my business is nomadic. And I don't, I think we're becoming far more location independent as a culture and as, um, as a generation. I also believe that we are starting to value experiences more than possessions. And that helps with the new nomadic lifestyle. When I'm on the road, there's so little control. And I think once you travel for a long time in the nomadic lifestyle that we tend to travel in, or I like to travel in, you let go of control of all things. So the bus doesn't show up, the train doesn't leave on time, nothing works out the way you think it is, and, and you try to get to that point where it just doesn't phase you anymore. And so you're out on the road and you feel amazing and present and alive, and, and you're in travel clothes and no makeup and tank tops and, you know, one pair of pants for months on end. And then you come back to a city like New York and, you know, I'm an executive director of an art gallery, so I need to look at a certain part. So then you switch out of that backpacker traveler mentality into this, into a whole different persona, so to speak, which is part of the reason why my blog is called Spy Travel Log. I, I feel like it's this constant shift in identity of who I am and what am I doing and, and, and how am I supposed to present to myself. Um, so the continuous re-entry is probably challenging. The more you travel, the more you realize how we're all the same, irrespective to everything else. The, the common desire that drives every human, at uh, the core of it is the same. And and in all my years of traveling, I learned that people are good. People are more good than bad, and they're more compassionate than, than mean-spirited, and, and people are always willing to help. And that generosity, and being open to that sense of generosity, of saying yes to help, instead of being fearful of, why is a stranger talking to me, is, is incredible. I think that there's this movement towards wanting to travel and travel perpetually because I believe we're disenfranchised by the last 30 years of possession marketing, of owning things. And the more you own, the bigger house you have, you win, you know, and the rat race didn't make us happy. And so there's more and more of us opting to not be a rat.